Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to talk to you about the sunscreens that are regularly in my skincare rotation. Um, I keep them in my routine all year round, um, even when it's raining for um, 40 days in a row in Portland, like it did in January and February. Um, just because I really want to protect my skin from getting any more damage than it already has. Um, <laughs> I started using sunscreen on my face daily in my early 20s and now I'm in my early 30s so I definitely need to protect my skin from sun damage. Um, skincare, uh, skin cancer runs in my family so I don't want to experience that and want to, if I do, put it off as long as I possibly can. Um, so I wear a sunscreen every day on my face. Need to also get into the habit of using it on my body as much as I do on my face, but we're starting with face. So I am going to show you the sunscreens that I own and talk to you about my favorite ones. I'm so excited to tell you that everything that I'm showing you is cruelty free. So um, that is my like number one goal in, as far as skincare and makeup is to be 100% cruelty free. So everything here is. Okay, so the first one is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense SPF 30. So this is a zinc oxide sunscreen. I think all of these are zinc oxide sunscreens actually, but um, so, so zinc is like a physical defense against the sun. Um, this one is white colored, but I don't notice <laughs> that it leaves any white cast on my skin. If I did, I wouldn't wear it. Um, but this is my first tube of this one, and I like it just as much as any of my other sunscreens. Um, I did have this in the tint color also, but it was too dark for me. Oh, and it only came in one shade, so now I use the white color. Um, this pairs really well on top of one of my oils, so my sweet almond or my grapeseed oil. This goes on really smoothly on top of that. This one right here, I have, this is probably like my sixth or seventh tube of this one. I've been using this one for years. Um, this is Juice Beauty SPF 30 Oil Free Moisturizer, so it does have a moisturizer in it also, and it is zinc broad spectrum um, protection as well and I love the way this one smells it smells like super fruity it's a little bit off-white but it again it doesn't show up on my skin at all once I rub it in um, this is a really good sunscreen that I will probably buy again and again and again the next one that I got is my newest addition to my sunscreen family. It is Paula's Choice Essential Glow Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, again, this is a zinc oxide sunscreen, so all of mine are the physical barriers that protect against sun's harmful rays. Um, I think I've showed this one before, but if you haven't checked out my other videos, this is a little bit of a skin-colored, glowy sunscreen. Um, it's like really light. It's not, I mean, if you were like any darker than me, it would be, it wouldn't be your skin color, but it like blends in perfectly. It's not, it's not a tinted moisturizer. Um, it doesn't come in like multiple shades or anything like that. I like that this is glowy. Um, I've been trying it for a few days. The first few days I tried it just on top of my BHA exfoliant from Paul's Choice and I noticed that I was getting like, a, like very dry during the day. So I started putting this on top of an oil, a grapeseed or a sweet almond oil on my face and now I've been noticing that it, it does, does the trick. So this is another very good choice. All of them are good choices. <laughs> this one is the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment from Dr. Jar. We're getting into the color correcting now. So all the other ones, sheer, white, plain, on the face. This one and the next one are color, color correcting. So this one is 
a green cream so it looks super weird when you first put it on your skin um it looks like you're wearing the makeup that um edward scissorhands wears from the avon lady and it very quickly blends into your skin i was noticing or i, I was I was noticing that I was getting a little bit dry when I was wearing this, so again, I put moisturizer and then this. Um, when I first got it, I thought that I I thought that when it turned to be like the brown color after it touches the skin, I thought it would be too dark for me, like the like the drunk elephant skin tint was. But this actually blends in perfectly with my skin when I do rub it in, and it gets away like some of my redness that I have a lot I, have, I get a lot of redness like around here around the bottom part of my nose and then I get like dark circles under my eyes too and right now I have a few like breakouts on my skin so maybe could have benefited from that today but I didn't wear it this is the last one that I have to show you it's actually a tinted moisturizer so not officially a sunscreen but it does have broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen in it it is from Laura Mercier it, they have like like 20 shades probably this one is in the shade pearl and um, if I feel like I need a little bit more coverage than just a regular sunscreen um, I use this I also would use this if I felt like I didn't want more coverage like if I wasn't gonna apply concealer or anything afterwards I don't feel like this is this is like as light as coverage can get. And those are all my sunscreens. So thank you guys for checking out my channel. And why don't you drop in the comments what sunscreen you like to put on your face and your body because I am always up for recommendations for body sunscreens because I go through like so much of them in the summer. Um, it's my first summer in Portland, so I don't know if I'll be wearing it quite as much, but um, we'll see. I'll see how, how much sun exposure I get living here. Okay guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye!